Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, my name is Aram. I am a real estate agent in the Chicagoland area. To my right is who are you, sir? Uh, my name is Brandon Blankenship. Uh, I used to live here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, found Aram through YouTube when I was pursuing my real estate license, and I now live in Los Angeles, California. So we have something special. Brandon over here is actually one of my, I would say, OG subscribers, would you OG say? OG subscriber, OG subscriber. You reached out to me six months before you even got licensed. Was yeah, it six months? Probably about six months ago. Um, I was uh, probably about a month into class. Yeah. Um, took me about three and a half months to get my license in California. I reached out to you and ever since. Now, what stood out, because I think you were one of the first people I actually want to get on the phone call. What stood out was he actually wanted to role play before he even got his license. And that was, I'm like, okay, he's serious. We can, we can spend some time on Brandon. I mean, by time, I mean, I think we, two, three phone calls maybe. Yeah, we probably had about yeah. two, three phone calls before I ever made my like very first live cold call. Which was, by the way, day one of the business, which is what we want to talk about. Tell them, okay, so first tell them how, the, how getting into business was and what okay. you experienced in the so first couple So getting weeks. into the business, definitely you have to watch a lot of YouTube videos, watch a lot of Aram's YouTube videos. Definitely do that. <laughs> I know his demographic is all young agents like ourselves. Like I'm 23 as well, Aram's 24. And then I uh, really just getting the knowledge because like literally me and Aram talk about it all the time. Like we both agree like this business. Right. Simple. Very simple. Super oh simple God. concept, but like the work is definitely hard. Like don't overcomplicate the business or anything like that. Just keep working and like think long term instead of short term and then follow Aram on YouTube and watch all his YouTube videos. Not like me though. I've, yeah, he I doesn't do really. Watch he, all, do he, watch all he, now that he has direct access to him, he does not even watch him. He's like, oh, Aram, I watched him. I'm like, oh, yeah, what <laughs> happened in minute, minute three? He's like, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, you said something. Great. Good point. You have a listing. I do have a listing. You've been, uh, what, you started with no, beginning of November? Or when when yeah, did you start? Yeah, like uh, mid-November, so I'm about like a month and a half in right now. But when did you get the listing? I got my listing about three weeks into the business. It's three like weeks? The craziest. Three weeks. Craziest thing ever. Now, I want to uh, put a little caveat on this. That is very rare. So don't think that if you don't have a listing in your three, third week of the business that you, but that you suck or it's not working. Because it took me about, I think, four months to get my first listing. Uh, but I think what you did was unique was you got to work right away. Mm -hmm. Like day one, I think you were, I was shocked. Um, and you hand, he hand I, dialed. I, I did hand dial. For five hours. I'm like, are you crazy guy? It sucked. It, terrible get the dialer, idea. Get the dialer right away. Get the dialer right get away. Get the dialer right away. Correct? Yeah. So uh, he started calling from day one and then what, two and a half, you said two weeks into it, three weeks into it, you, yeah, you talked to the gentleman? Um, right. It was Thanksgiving, I know. It was um the Monday before Thanksgiving. Uh, I got my first... Uh, listing appointment yeah uh it was it was kind of insane it was literally my very first call in the town i live in by the way we're gonna interrupt and let you know if you're not yet subscribed if you like what you've seen so far please take a minute comment subscribe uh let me know what you think if you like this format or if you just don't like anybody in the videos but me uh, but nonetheless <laughs> give me some feedback now going back to brandon they said they were interviewing agents because they wanted to sell their house and then, honestly, that was the lucky part. I mean, it's a numbers game, cold calling, door knocking, whatever right. it is. It's definitely a numbers game. I think I was about 3,500 calls into my career. Which is crazy. And then, I mean, the listing appointment, that's like... We're going to get into that later. Okay, We're going to okay. keep this structured. So, by the way, I was actually on FaceTime with him when he got the appointment. Oh, yeah, you were, you were, you were. And uh, what's, like, a lot of new agents are worried about what am I going to say? Mm. Uh, what if I don't have the answers? Or like, what like script do I have to use? And... Uh, I think you used uh, Ricky Cruz, like, hey, is there anything I could do to help you? Yes. And then he was like, well, we're interviewing agents, right? Now. I was like, what? This yeah. never happened to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I was kind of pissed off. I'm like, hey, God, <laughs> you know, what are you doing, man? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was awesome to see you. And then uh, you were like hyped afterwards. You're oh, like, yeah, super hyped. And uh, you went on the appointment. So now tell us, you go on the appointment. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling going in? Okay. And then how did it go? So Share it. going into the appointment, I remember I was like talking to Aaron. I was like, yo, well, like, listing presentation blah blah what do i do what do i do so i started like youtubing like a ton of different listing presentations and um the one i stuck with was kevin ward and uh with kevin ward's um it was pretty simple um i liked it but then i was like the whole day because the appointment was at one o'clock i just had like the butterflies in my stomach this whole time like it was insane were you nervous or was i was it like so i was okay. the most nervous person in the world i mean during the whole weekend 
During the whole weekend, that. I was just um, talking to myself like, oh, I'm going to get this, like, I'm going to get this listing, you know, I'm right. going to get this listing, I'm going to get this listing. And then, bro, that Monday came ever since the morning, like, just butterflies, all this, all these nerves. I had, like, a whole, like, presentation script to go in with. But then literally once the door opened, I abandoned everything. <laughs> I abandoned ship. Okay, so we're back. Uh <laughs> <laughs> a commercial started playing. I don't even know, know, know how long that's been up. I hope not too long, to be honest, because that's kind of embarrassing on production side for me. Anyway, back to business, because we're not here to have fun. We're here to kind of share your story, and hopefully it helps other agents who are either struggling yes, or sir. have questions. So you go on a listing appointment. You had this plan of what you were going to do. Yes. Right? By the way, same, literally deja vu. Yes. You had this plan going in, uh-huh. and uh, door opens. Yep. Now, let me ask you a question. When that door opened, yep. where did the nerves go? Um, away, honestly, they honestly right? went away, yeah. Isn't that crazy? They went away, yeah, it was crazy. So, would you say you were overthinking it a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I was overthinking it. I mean, like, if you if I didn't get the listing, it wasn't at the end of the world. Um, right. You know, because I was with, I was cold calling with Aaron when I got that listing appointment. I think I was, like, super hyped, but um, Aaron kind of humbled me. He's like, keep calling, blah, blah, you don't even have that listing yet. And I was like, all right, you're right. So, I cold calls for probably about, like, 30 more minutes, um... I think we were only like an hour in cold calling. Yeah, that was that was so was out really of the blue. Qu- it was super quick. I mean, it was just the it was literally the very first cold call in the town I lived in, which is insane. So like that was the lucky part. Honestly. That's some things you go to sleep and be like, what if I call somebody tomorrow and they want exactly. This? That's why you make your calls asap. Now, now know. to keep people interested, <clears throat> you want to share the price point of your very first listing that yeah, you got within so, the second um, week. This, the price point of this listing is probably r- most likely right over a mil. Um, I'm gonna run comps again when I get back to California. You got to list at what right now? Uh, 1.1. 1. 1. 1. So he goes, 1. 1. he's not actually listed. I believe he goes on the market in like a week or so, right? Yeah, in about a week. Um, I'll yeah. send it to Aram and then we'll throw it all on social media. Okay. So you go going to the listing point. I know yep. you abandoned ship. So what did you do since you abandoned ship? So this is honestly literally what I did. And this is what I'm going to go with every single listing yeah. appointment I go on into the future. I was literally just myself and 100% honest that it, would, it hurt. Like, it he's hurt, so right? honest that it hurts. Now, did, did your age have any... Because you're young. Yeah. And a lot of people, even like people at 30 years old and under, That's feel they're too young. Yep. Did that even... Did that come up, number one? Of and how did the... How did, did it help you or did it hurt you? So, this is basically what happened during like yep. the listing appointment is that um introduced myself, obviously. Um, they showed me the house. Then we sat down, talked business, and then we really just got to know each other. I mean, um, that was towards more of like the end of the conversation is like. So it didn't even come up till the once all the decisions. I were made. honestly really just connected with them. Um, I mean, a main thing is you gotta let them talk. Ah. You you for sure have anyone any client any client that you work with um for sure let them talk. Definitely just I just let them talk and talk and talk and I kind of just um. You did the whole say, 80-20 rule where you like yeah. maybe ask a question, float something up there, and then just let them kind of yeah, for express sure. how they feel. And I would just like relate with um, everything. Right. Um, I, I got their motivations and everything like that. And I just really connected with them on like a more personal basis. Perfect. Um, I was more than a, a realtor to them. Um, they did ask how old I was, and I asked them to guess. Yeah. They said I was, they asked if I was 28, and I was like, I, I was 23. And they asked how long I was in the business, and I told them. I was going to be Two honest, weeks. Like, honest <laughs> three weeks back home, started cold calling right away. Yeah. And then uh, they liked it. Now, do you think your age like would have like played any role in them not hiring you? Like, did it hurt um, you at all? Like, I honestly don't think so. I think being young is advantage, an right? advantage. I mean, nobody I have, wants an 80 year old who doesn't even know how to use ex- the internet. I have, I have all the time in the world. Well, you're a big shot now. I mean, you don't have I, any time. I guess so. I don't. You know, even, I don't. I even, have to schedule an appointment to get I, him I, in I here. I don't even prospect anymore. That's a lie. I just, I do, I do still prospect. I do still. Yeah, prospect. he still, he still prospects. I door knock now. Actually, it's intense. There's one thing I wanted to really touch on. Yep. Uh, we were, uh, I think we were on Facetime prospecting. Okay. And you were like, dude, I kind of know why people quit now. Yes. And it was like I was like, oh. They just hit because yep. it's not the work isn't hard, nope. right? But doing it consistently in yep. the mind games, like what's going on in your head, yeah, for sure, will convince you that you're sucking. Oh, for sure, right? Hundred percent. So run me through what was going on in your head because so, this is what three weeks in. Yeah, probably three weeks in. And he, let's let's just set up the scene. He was working hard. Okay, this man was cold. He, honest to God, he was cold calling more than me. I'm gonna be honest. I, 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 could, was, I could but I had a him. triple line dialer, so technically speaking, I was hitting them. Numbers. Yeah, I have the single line, but um, bum. Uh, okay, go ahead. So, so um, why I think that people in this business quit is because the perception of real estate agents 
is people think it's so much easier than it is. But in reality, if you don't have money saved up, right. Um, to get into the business for at least six months because you you don't know when you're gonna get your first listing. Honestly, not everyone can be as lucky as you, big yeah, shot. Yeah, and like yeah. touching your like the best um the best source for you know business and listings and stuff like that or helping buyers is definitely your sphere of influence. But I think talking your sphere of influence is kind of hard in the oh beginning. Oh my god, dude, it's the worst. I ignored it. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't call I them. I ignored it. Too. I mean, I talked to a couple, but yeah. I, mean, I just feel like it's just because you want to have like. You want to be the most professional you can. And then going first, you're like first couple months of the business. You don't know that much. I mean, contracts is a different beast. Like whatever you, how many commercials <laughs> are you going to play? Oh my God. You know what? Just forget it. Let right, it be forget fire. the screen. But uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you learn in real estate school, it does not apply. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people like fall on the, what's the, what's the percentage? Uh, I think it's like, it's, it's everything. It's either 80, I think it's 87% within the first two or three years. Okay. Yeah. So it's some, up there. something, something ridiculously yeah. crazy, like maybe, so it's like two in every 10 agents right? or one in every 10 agents will actually be in this business after a few years. But, um, I, a big reason is that because, um, yeah, people think this is easy. I mean, the concept is super simple prospect. Yep. Follow up. That's the hard part. <laughs> just yeah, that's the hard part because you don't, you don't know if they'll remember you, right? Like yeah. But honestly, some of the conversations he knows, like some of the emails I get from like my clients, like he, it's I, insane. I, I, I mean, it bothers me because <laughs> I'm like, dude, nobody even emails me that way, and I'm spending like hours on this email. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So tell okay. them like so the circle prospecting is working. Yes, circle right? prospecting is definitely working. So let's just finish up the last point. So you you were like, I know why people fail now. In short. It was the not really anticipating what, what is going to happen, how, do, how it feels, and then being consistent with the work. 100%. Right? Yeah. Million dollar listing, the TV show, LA is. That's like 10 years. De- they've been doing something yeah, for 10 you years. Have to, you have to put, you have to put yeah. you have to go through the water. You have to put, you have to put the work in first to be on that level. Because exactly. they're, they're all referrals, honestly. At that point, they are. They're but, all you referrals know, at that point. You forget that they also door knocked for like eight hours a they day. Did, they did. When they started. Yeah. Right? All, all those people, you listen to all those crazy stories of those top producers. They either cold called or door knocked. They did There's, some kind of aggressive prospect there's no let's secret, call it that. there's no secret sauce Ooh. aaron knows we're door knocking now he was on facetime with me while i was knocking and that's kind of a that's a whole different beast oh my god I remember, are you okay sharing that story yeah, okay yeah, go ahead so uh what are you uh, so you text me I you're like bro you. i've been waiting in my car for 15 minutes yeah 15 minutes legit it's Le- probably longer honestly let's just say 15 let's just say 15 <laughs> let's just say 15 let's be generous Let's be generous. And you te- I think I don't know if you remember. I don't remember if you called or texted me. You're like, bro, I'm in my car for 15 minutes. I'm trying to door knock. Yeah. So we get on a FaceTime, and then uh, what's very uh, this was the reason what I uh, what I like what I like you and actually call you yeah, yeah. and actually spend time is because you he's willing to do the actions yeah. right. And a lot of it is yeah, you're gonna be uncomfortable. It sucks. Mm-hmm. I hate calling. I I hate calling. Yeah. Right? I, but we do it. It's not fun. Now you actually like door knocking but yeah. at the moment you didn't want to do it no nope, not at all i, nah, mean, I was cool. mean yeah i was a little mean you told to. you get out you had to you had to I would <laughs> but have he got, did I would, have, I would have not gone out it, even he he knew if he texted me i was gonna get his ass out the car yep right 100 but he did it anyway got him out the car he started door knocking and then it was breezy after that uh i wouldn't say breezy i only did like 12 doors good enough that's good enough that's that's more than that's more than 11 that's more that's than more one than door. one that's more than one door and now well okay how was the feeling and because a lot of the time it's for me it was the first door that was the biggest mm-hmm. problem yeah, actually i don't 100%. honestly i didn't really get nervous for door knocking i don't know it's the weirdest thing yeah, yeah. the calls make me nervous but not door knocking yeah, yeah. but the first call i'm anxious every morning 100 percent goes away 100%. Every life is great 100%. life is great now, uh, let's kind of uh, segue over to some of the negative stuff. A lot of, like, if you talk to, like, 30, like, the other day, I talked to 21 people. Yes. Guess how many of them were interested in buying real estate? Zero. Not a single one Zero. of them. Zero. Most of them hung up, said, not interested. Don't call me. Remove my number. All of this, right? Yep. But it's, a, like he said, it's a numbers game. Like, if you call enough people, like Brandon, you're going to get that lady, let's call her ma'am. Yeah. And who is actually, and when they are interested, yep. that's when they dive into your stuff. Yep. Right. So that's when they start reading your emails. But it's important to keep having having something they can actually look at. hundred percent. Right. And 100%. then uh, follow with them. So the rejection is going to be there like 90 percent of the time. Honestly, you're going to get rejected. Yep. But that 10 percent will pay you so much money yep. if you just hang in there. Hundred ten percent. Hundred ten percent. Follow up is key. Follow up is key. Follow and I suck key. at that. Guilty. Follow Guilty. Up is key. Yeah. Follow Guilty. Up is key. Send me back. Follow up is hard. Dude, it's a, it's a disaster. Follow up is hard. 
Okay, so we're going to do an awkward transition here because the camera cut off and we lost a lot of good conversation we and we're not know. quite sure where we ended. I have no clue. Um, I think I was, uh, I, we were talking about like how agents overthink. Yes. Me, by the way, me included. I'm no yes. God, I am no saint. Okay, oh. I overthink all the time. Okay, overthink. Literally like this morning. Yeah, uh, I do So I think what I asked you was go, like you didn't know how to, you didn't know anything about listing contracts. You didn't know anything about like, you know, how anything, honestly, real estate, because you're like third week in the business, right? Yeah, 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 I was like third week in the business. But uh, like the key I want to get across is that didn't stop him from doing anything and that didn't stop him from actually getting a listing. Oh. So a lot of times, so the moral of the story, tell me if you agree, is you kind of overthink things and you don't do it. 100% agree. So if you just do it, I mean, you'll learn from experience. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen if they didn't like they, you at that listing they presentation? They would have said no. And they would have said I would have kept hiring other or interviewing other agents. And now, would you have gained experience that you would have never yeah, I had? Yeah, I would, I would look at it as, as I gained a lot of experience. And then I, I just feel like real estate is just, if you can bring, if you could bring those clients in, like bring those people in to like work right. with you, everything else will take care of itself, honestly. Like there's going to be, your managing broker is going to help you 100%. Or Google. For or the love Google. of God, Google. The contracts aren't that hard, honestly. It's like yeah. going through it the first time. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Like listing agreement. Sign oh, here, so sign easy. here. It's filling the blank, guys. It, it really is. Yeah, you figure out so. the price, figure out how long the contract, negotiate how long the contract, negotiate commission percentage, um, safety clause. And I'm then, about to drop a bomb. And that's Are you it. ready? Yeah. Bomb, go. Selling real estate is the easiest part, in my experience, of real estate. Yeah. The hardest part is finding the client. Exactly. So, stand, uh, like, don't waste. So, what, the reason I say this is be efficient with your time because... Lord knows I'm not. <laughs> <So> <laughs> is I by the way, that was a joke. I try to be efficient. Um, so what I'm saying is don't waste your time trying to learn everything like, you know, oh, what's happening in this yeah, city? What's happening in that city? 100%. Just go in when you get the client and the client. So like when you do these open houses, which I'm not a big fan of, but you when you go in not knowing anything about like house, mm -hmm. keep in mind, I didn't know what a backsplash was. Like six months into the real estate. I had no idea. That's in every kitchen now. That's in every kitchen. And now I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, you know, at the time I didn't, but that, mm -hmm. that's not going to stop me, right? No. And if it comes up, you simply say, I'll look into it. Or you pretend like you are going to see something, Google it real quick and get the answer yeah, if it comes up. But the hardest part is getting the client. So spend 99% of your time getting the client. Mm -hmm. The real estate will handle itself. And last thing, working on your website, business cards, social media, that it's oh, social media is kind of working. Okay, so, okay. Social, social media is working. Social yeah. media is working. But um, business, business cards, cards, website, website uh, ran brochures, random stuff that is not working. That is, making working lists. Is, yeah, working guilty. is cold calling. Working is cold yeah. calling, door knocking. Very simple. Go, Very simple. It's simple. And there's nothing he's doing that other agents can't do, right? Hundred percent. And the the key here is consistency. So we'll wrap it up here. Because I think we've gone very long at this yeah, point. Gone really long. So we'll wrap it up here with uh, Brandon's a young agent. He's 23 years old. 23. He's doing it. He's working hard. He's doing it. That's, that's a good quality to have. Yeah. 2020. He's, he's going to make a lot of money and give me 80%. Yeah. And all it's going to be a great time. 80% referral. Woohoo. Let's go. Yep. Uh, anyhow, so if you, if you like what you see, uh, if you don't like what you see, let me know if you don't like Brandon, first and foremost. Sorry, don't uh, follow uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. We're trying to... New goal, I'm setting it right now. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. Let's do it. Let's go. And uh, please, he has a YouTube channel if you want to follow we his do journey. I have a YouTube channel. Go ahead. Uh, YouTube sure. channel is just... You can find me with my first and last name, Brandon Blankenship. Um, you can also find me on TikTok. I'm kind of TikTok famous. Um, Big league. Instagram also, Brandon Blankenship. Dot re um i'll comment on aram's video and then maybe if i'm, I'm lucky, gonna put it right here post it right here uh right there all right here so it's it's good. It's my, my link will be right here yeah that link it just be his uh, instagram name and Dang. then his links will be in the description cool uh, i think uh you guys should if you are a new agent you should go follow him because uh, i'm three years in even though i share some of my experiences i didn't really record my first year and those are like the hardest times so 100%. he's actually by the way, start posting, asshole. Yeah, I need uh, to start posting YouTube videos. But he's videos. in there. He's in the grind with you. But I'm in the grind with you too. But uh, it's like it's different when it's new because it's even closer to what you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, go over there, check them out. And thank you so much for watching. We Thanks appreciate it. And uh, go ahead and say goodbye to them. Goodbye, YouTube family. That's See right. ya. Bye. Let's go. <laughs>